Hi guys, my name is Jana Paleria and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, we're gonna be talking about the personality type of an INFJ. INFJ. Um, nitong nakaraang buwan, a friend of mine told me that um, I should take this test because it's interesting. A personality test. And as for me, I love taking personality tests. And yun, kaya tinanggap ko. At kung gusto nyo din siyang i-take tong test na to, I will put the link down there. You should just check it there in the description below. Uh, it took me time para sagutin yung test na yun. At you know what I got? My result is I'm an advocate. An INFJ. Parang hindi ko masyadong nagets. What is an advocate? Parang ano to tagapagmagitan ng mga tagapagmagitan ba to ng ano ng nag-aaway parang ganun. Hindi ko siya masyadong naiintindihan. So nung binabasa ko siya, I kind of understand it feeling ko minsan. Ang weird na ng personality ko. Tapos nung nabasa ko siya, personality pala siya. <laughs> I mean, hindi pala ako nag-iisa. Medyo marami-rami pala kami. And yes, medyo marami-rami. What I mean by that is, nung nag-scroll pa ako ng about an INFJ, nabasa ko doon na only 1% of the population is an INFJ. Nung nabasa ko yun, I was like, ready na. Kasi di ba lahat ng personality, marami. Marami tayo yung magkakaparehas ng personality para tayong isang community. Sabihin natin na a community of introverts, ganun. Sobrang rare daw, no? The rarest personality. And I was like, really? Kasali ako dun? <laughs> Hindi ko alam na may ganun palang klaseng personality. A rare personality. Parang, I felt like I was unique somehow nung nabasa ko yun. Tapos nag-search ako about I INFJs and yun, mas na-open ako sa kanya. So, yeah. But for today's video again, we're gonna be watching a video from PsychGo and the title is 7 Facts of the INFJ Personality Type. Hindi ko pa talaga siya napapanood ngayon pa lang and we will see kung ano ba talaga yung sinasabi niya na fact. 7 fact. Let's see kung papasok ba ako sa criteria ng facts nila na yun. Kung totoo ba kung INFJ, we will see that. Come with me and watch with me and react with me. So, let's go! Today, we'll be talking about INFJs, otherwise known as the advocate. Here are seven fun secrets revealed about INFJs. One, they're magical unicorns. Okay, not in a literal sense, but INFJs statistically have been reported as the rarest person. Okay, stop right there. <laughs> magical unicorns. Pagkakasabi pa lang niya nun, medyo nagting na agad yung, may nagting agad sa utak ko kasi a fact about me, I really like unicorns. Parang, I don't know why I like them. They don't exist actually, hindi sila totoo. Pero, sabi nga dito, they're like magical creatures and they're like very unique. They're pretty and parang ang ganda niya na, basta ewan ko, I just really like unicorns. Hindi ko na din maintindihan. Hindi ko din siya ma-explain. Ang gulahan na ako. I'll, let's just proceed watching it. Personality type. To be exact, only 1-2% to of the world's population identify as INFJs, with slightly more females than males. No wonder you're such mysterious creatures. So yeah, I told you guys, we're only 1% to 2% of the population. See, gano kadami yung taong yun, diba? Gano kadami yung tao sa buong mundo. And we're just 1% of the population, like, ilan lang? <laughs> ilan lang? Shucks. Charot lang. Oh, let's proceed. 2. They put the book in bookworm. As introverts, INFJs love to pass time with the good old reading hour. They enjoy learning new things and have a broad range of interests, whether it's history, Hogwarts, or psychology. If you find that your INFJ hasn't gotten back to your text, they might just be visiting platform 9 and 3 quarters. 3. Wait, so number 2 done. Bookworm? Not really. Hindi talaga ako bookworm kasi... Oh, yeah. The way they, they describe the bookworm, INFJs love reading. Reading the history, novel, psychology. Yes, totoo yun. Kasi nung college ako, kahit nung high school ako, tapos maghahanap ako ng libro na pwede kong pagkainteresaduhan book na magbibigay sa akin ng intellect. Charot. 
magbibigay sa akin ng wisdom. Yung sinabi kanina sa video na may malalearn ako na bago. Yung library din ng college ko, ng university ko ng college, ma malaki siya. Tapos, ang dami niyang mga libro. Tapos, nag-open ako ng mga psychology, psychology books, kahit hindi ko naman siya naiintindihan. <laughs> ang hihiram ako ng mga libro ng testimonial books at saka ng mga libro na sa marami kang matututunan. Mga women's book, how to be modest, mga ganun. I like novels then actually. Mm. At saka totoo yun na <laughs> kung hindi man ako nakareply, baka busy ako nagbabasa. <laughs> yeah. Whenever I read those books, yung mga nagbustuhan kong libro, parang naglumalawak yung kaalaman ko. Parang a life-changing situation din siya. Halimbawa, eh, may anger issue ako, tapos nabasa ko yung ganun na, yung ganun libro, be a daughter of the thunder. How it affects the other people, how it affects me, na ang sama-sama pala ng affect mo sa akin. Tapos mala life-change ka, magbabago ka dahil doon. So parang, Yun nga, ang dami, parang kang nagiging intellectual person dahil doon. Oh my gosh, ang dami ko nang sinabi. So much of that. Let's proceed. Three, they know how to climb the social ladder. Consider INFJs as the goats in society. They know how to climb a mountain when they see one. Ambitious, knowledge-seeking, and always open to self-improvement. This type does what it takes to reach their goals. If they aren't careful, however, they may push themselves too hard. INFJs know how to s climb the social ladder. It's true. <laughs> Even though we are introverts, the I in the INFJ is introvert. Even though we're introverts, we know how to climb the social ladder. Yeah, napasa ko din sa sarili ko. Kahit nahihiya ako, I know that I should improve myself. That in this kind of criteria, like sabihin natin sa work ko, kahit mahihiyain ako, Alam ko kung ano yung dapat kong gawin para ma-approach yung tamang tao, para maki makipag-usap sa tamang tao kahit nakakahiya. Kaya ko ding pumunta doon para makipag-usap. Parang ganun. Yeah, maybe we just really like challenging ourselves. Yeah, we like improving ourselves. Para sa akin nakikita ko kasi siya na challenge to improve myself. Kasi alam ko na marami akong weaknesses, marami akong dapat pang i-improve sa sarili ko. Kaya kailangan ko siyang gawin para ma-challenge yung sarili ko, para ma-improve ko pa yung sarili ko. Hmm. Kaya siguro yun yung sinasabi na ayun na Chris know how to climb the social ladder. Hindi siya about parang nakikipag-socialan ka. Hindi ganun. Parang, ang hirap na explain <laughs> Yeah, it's really hard to explain. Hindi ko alam. Pero naiintindihan ko talaga yung sinabi na ano, we know how to climb the social ladder. Para, pero not being pasosyal-sosyal. <laughs> Hindi ganun. Hindi ganun. Parang, we just try to make ourselves better. Nahirapan na ako ma-explain. Prosita tayo sa next. <laughs> Number four, please. <laughs> four, they see things and understand them. Think of Charlie from The Perks of Being a Wallflower, a classic INFJ or holding call field from The Catcher in the Rock. The minute they walk into a room, they can absorb everyone's moods. Five. <laughs> <laughs> when I see a thing, I understand it. Kahit ano siya, kahit sobrang hindi siya swak sa principle ko, sabihin natin na drug addict. Naintindihan ko yung pinagdadaanan ng isang drug addict. Parang ganun, like, natry niya, tapos na-addict siya doon, tapos nagsistruggle siya para makaalis doon. Parang mga ganun. Ganun, nahirap na explain. O sabihin natin na single ako. Okay. Tapos yung mga friendships ko, Mga may boyfriend sila. Tapos nagkaroon sila ng problema ng boyfriend niya. Tapos, being me, a single, the single friend, I don't know anything about boyfriend and girlfriend. Balik ko ba dun? <laughs> diba? Pero nag-away sila. And I've never been there. I mean, hindi pa ako nagkakaroon ng kaaway na boyfriend. Tapos nasaktan si girl, nasaktan si boy. Tapos, naiintindihan ko siya. Alam mo yun, like, I understand the side of the guy and I understand the side of the girl. Parang hindi ka magkakaroon ng favorite sa kanila. Na, ay, mas nasaktan si girl. Parang ganyan. Kasi babae ako, so dun din ako papanik. Tsaka mas friend ko yung girl, so dun ako papanik. Hindi ganun. Like, and I understand the situation. Parang ganun. I understand the feeling of being hurt. Sabihin natin na uh, yung friend ko, my boyfriend, tapos sinabi niya sa akin na uh, um, yung boyfriend niya yun, kaya niya siya nagustuhan kasi pinaparamdam daw ni Guy na she felt protected 
she felt secured and loved. I've never been there. I've never been that in that situation and I've never had someone that I've I've felt protected. I've felt really loved. But basta yung ini-explain niya na ganun, I've never felt that. Pero, I understand it. <laughs> it's weird. Somehow. Kahit ako na-weirdohan ako na I understand it, but I've never been there in that situation. Parang ganun. And yes, <laughs> mood absorber. Oo. Friend ako na nagkikanta sa akin ng, no, nasaktan siya. Naiiyak na din ako para sa friend ko na yun. Or, nagkakantuhan kami about life testimonies. Tapos, sobrang nakakaiyak yung testimony niya. Di ba marami, karamihan sa atin na parang, ah, magaganda lang. Parang, hala, grabe, ang ganda ng testimony. Grabe yung experience mo, ang ganda-ganda. Ganun lang yung mararamdaman natin. Pero ako, may iyak ako. <laughs> Iiyakan ko. Is that being just emotional? Pero hindi, totoo yun eh. Parang, na-absorb mo yung mood ng tao at saka napabasa mo yung mood ng tao kasi nakikita mo siya, nakikita mo yung tao tapos kahit hindi niya sabihin napapansin mo, halimbawa galit siya hindi niya sinabi na galit siya tsaka hindi niya pinapakita na galit siya pero alam mo na galit siya parang ganun tapos magugulat na lang yung mga tao na ha galit siya tapos alam mo na, galit naman talaga siya parang alam mo sa sarili mo na galit siya tapos yung mga tao hindi nila alam is that how that is? I don't know, hindi ko din siya ma-explain na maayos next they love a good puzzle. INFJs might seem timid when you first meet them, but don't be fooled by their quiet demeanor. They never shy away from a good challenge. Deep thinkers with rich inner lives, INFJs enjoy problem solving and reflecting on ethics. Si <laughs> true! <laughs> very, very true. Grabe, gustong gusto ko yung mga ano, problem solving. Wait, hindi problem solving ng mat. Um, problem solving ng... Alam mo ba, naglalaro kayo ng mga pulling cases. Alam mo yung ano, yung card game na nakapalibot kayo ng mga kalaro mo. Tapos, um, pag napunta sa'yo yung jack, ikaw yung criminal. Tapos, pag napunta sa'yo yung king or ace, ikaw yung police. Pag regular number lang yung nakuha mo, or regular card lang yung nakuha mo, um, huhulaan mo kung sino yung criminal. Kasi may tatakbo na storya ah, na may mamamatay dun sa, sa inyong naglalaro na grupo. Tapos, hulaan mo kung sino yung, sino yung pumatay doon sa card na yon sa card holder na yon Tapos, huliin mo kung sino yung criminal. Gusto-gusto ko yung mga ganong laro kasi parang gumagana yung utak ko. Hindi ko din talaga ma-explain. Ano mo yun? Ang haba ba ng in-explain ko kung ano yung laro? Tapos, hindi ko din ma-explain kung bakit ko siya gusto. Siguro din kanina yung sinabi ko, I like being challenged and I like a good challenge. Hindi ko na din siya ma-explain ng further. Basta yun. <laughs> Pero this one, totoo to. We never shy away from a good challenge and totoo yun na kahit quiet and demeanor kami, like, parang ang tahimik lang namin tapos mukhang behave lang. Don't be fooled. <laughs> Kasi pag challenge mo kami, hindi kami magbabaka out. Lalo na pag good challenge yan. Parang, parang pagalingan. Parang ganun. Charot. I, I really can't explain it further. I don't know how. Basta yun yun. <laughs> Basta ito, I agree with this. Mm -mm. Basta yun. Next, number six. Six, they're classy AF. This type likes the finer things in life. Whether it means enjoying a good glass of wine or wearing a snazzy pair of Oxfords, they strive for sophistication. It's important for them to look and feel good. You'll catch them owning one or two quality items instead of five cheap ones. Se fancy. Um, it's true that I like fancy things. Simple but fancy and really elegant. Gustong gusto ko yung mga ganon. Sa pag-arrange pa lang, sa mga bagay na I own, parang ganon. I, I, like, I like it fancy, elegant, pero not overly decorated, parang ganon. So I really like yung mga places na ang fancy and elegant but not overly decorated. Pero ang ganda-ganda, alam mo yung lakas ng dating. Mga ganon, gustong gusto ko yun. Tapos yung mga damit na mukha lang siyang, ano, ano mukha lang siyang straight, ganon. Parang halimbawa sabihin natin na, black dress. Tapos, kung titignan mo siya, parang mukha lang siyang simple. But when you wear it, aurahan na lang. Grabe yung dating. Mga ganun. So, gusto ko yun. Hindi ako mahol na tao na gusto ko lahat. Ganun. Parang ang dami kong bagay na ganun. No. Gusto ko lang ng simple. At saka, um, tama lang. Hindi nang, ayoko na masyadong maraming gamit. <laughs> Naluloka ako. <laughs> yun. But it's true. 
I really like fancy and elegant. Hmm. Ang ganda lang. Grabe, ang lakas lang talaga na dating nun. Next. Seven. They make routine unboring. INFJs are masters at organizing, from filing papers at work and color coding bookshelves to planning the week ahead with those nifty bullet journals. Meticulous about their details and regimens, you can always count on an INFJ to be prepared, punctual, and persistent. Are you an INFJ? Okay. Totoo yun. <laughs> I like organizing things. Ako kasi yung tipo na mahilig magluto. So when I cook, I like it organized, I like it clean, at sa preparations at saka sa paghihahain mo na yung pagkain. Gusto ko siyang may, somehow, may ano, may dating. <laughs> Parang ganun, maayos ba yung pagkakalagay? Ganun. And when we talk about scheduling and planning ahead, I do that. Yes, I have journal dati, pero ngayon, I don't do it much. Um, hindi na ako masyado nagsusulat ng mga things to do or what to do, plan, plan things, gano'n. I plan things pag may event, pero not like my everyday routine, hindi na. Kasi, I have a friend, and he's very spontaneous. And, <laughs> I learned from him na, not just because you're an organized person, or parang scheduled person, parang may schedule kang sinusunday, I learned from him that I will miss a lot of fun pag hindi ako medyo spontaneous. So, I try myself to be much more spontaneous and I take this as a challenge. At tanggalin ko muna yung mga plan-plan na yan, yung mga schedule-schedule na yan, at yung mga, kahit wala naman akong schedule eh. Sabihin natin ang schedule ko today, humilata. I take them, yung spontaneous things, tinitake ko na siya. At saka being, at saka marami na din kasi akong mga events na naplano. Yung una, yung una kong event, no, actually, I don't really remember my first event. Kasi I like taking part in events, ganun. Nahihirapan ako pag ano, pag hindi sumasama sa plano. Sabihin natin na may plan A ako, plan B at saka plan C. Pag yun lahat, pumalya, nagugulahan ako, nagagalit na ako. Kasi bakit? Ba't hindi masunod? Parang, it's so perfectly planned. Bakit ganun? Dahil lang sa tao na hindi dumating ng maaga. Yung mga ganun, dahil lang ganito, dahil lang ganyan. Mga ganun. So, yeah, I I told myself that I should adjust <laughs> on those problems and take it as a challenge now. Whenever things don't go on plan or don't go on schedule, dapat uh, ayos ka lang. <laughs> dapat may pagka-spontaneous ka din na utak na, oh sige, parang mag-iisip ka na lang ng, pana- ng paraan spontaneously. <laughs> na biglaan, like sabihin natin na um, we, you needed an intermission number and the singer is not yet there. So, maghahanap ka na agad ng tao. Sino pa yung kakanta? Yan ang. So, yeah. I try to be spontaneous. Yeah. So, even though I am a planner and a scheduler. May word ba? Scheduler? Even though I am a planner at saka mas schedule na tao, okay lang. Whenever you have to be spontaneous, you have to be spontaneous. When everything is don't go on plan, it's okay. You can adjust to it. Learn to adjust to it. I take it as a challenge. To my co-INFJs out there, Try to be spontaneous and try to take it as a challenge to be spontaneous. Hindi naman talaga kasi lahat ng bagay laging sumusunod sa gusto mo. We should really just try to cohabit with others. Kasi pag gano'n, na, naiinis ka na kasi hindi nasusunod sa plano, umiinit yung ulo mo, nagagalit ka, try natin na kumalma at mag-isip-isip muna bago, bago ang lahat. <laughs> yeah. Okay guys, so those are the 7 facts of an INFJ that I so agree with. INFJs really do exist and I'm one of them. So guys, I really hope that you like this video at may natutunan kayo about an INFJ such as me. <laughs> na kahit ako hindi ko alam na nag-exist pala yung personality type na yun. And I thought I was so weird, pero hindi naman pala. Thank you so much once again, guys, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. Thank you once again. I hope to see you guys on my next vlog. Thank you so much. Bye!